I think humans are explorers. If you look back, we've always ventured into the unknown. It's what we do. I've never gone on a hike and not wanted to go to the top of that hill just to look out and see what's out there. And from the days of sailing ships all the way up to spacecraft, uh, we, have, we have a spacecraft right now that's gonna go out by Pluto. And, and really, why are we doing it? Because it's out there and we wanna know. And every time we step out and we go a little outside our comfort zone, we learn a lot about what's going on out there, but we learn a lot about ourselves too. And to me, that's what's so great about exploration. And that was what was great about the space station. We want to get humans to Mars. And in order to do that, we're going to have to learn to live and work in space for a long time. What happens to the body? What happens to all this machinery? How do we reclaim our water? How do we make this whole system reliable so we can do a 500-day mission to Mars and, and get ourselves back on Earth? And that's really the goal, the, the true goal of the space station, is to look at all of these systems and make sure we're ready when we do set off to go to Mars, to make sure we're ready. It's all of the above, without a doubt. So you're engineering this spacecraft, and this is a pretty interesting spacecraft. It's actually very small. We sent it out there very fast to get the Pluto. Um, and so to me, that's kind of a neat, that's a neat engineering challenge that we, that we tackled, that NASA tackled. And then uh, getting to see good little Pluto out there, you know, hanging out way out there, super cold. The sunlight is just barely hitting it. And, uh, and we have yet to go to a planet or a moon around a planet in our solar system and not gone, wow, we didn't expect that. Every planet we've gone to, there's been something that was unexpected. And you're going to see it in mid-July when we get out to Pluto. There's going to be a whole lot of scientists cheering and clapping really loud because there will be something crazy on our little friend Pluto going on out there. Let, let me just explain it this way. At home, I have a refrigerator. And on the side of that fridge, since I've arrived at NASA in 2009, I have stickers from all the places I've visited, all the missions that have launched. And I don't have a Jupiter sticker. I don't have a Sat I don't even have an Earth sticker, but I have a little Pluto sticker. Uh, and so we'll just leave it at that. I think you know where my heart lies.